Hi, my name is Rosalyn, and I'm from Scotland. My parents passed away when I was a kid, and ever since, I used to live with my granny, who ran a hot dogs food truck. And even though she was an old lady, she was a fierce creature. Once, when I was eight, I saw a man stealing some hot dogs, and as I started shouting, he ran for his life. Just then, Granny threw a big corn dog that hit him right in the head, and he fell to the ground face flat. And then she went and sat on him until the cops came. <laughs> she was my superhero. After the rush hours, I'd often accompany her to homeless shelters, where she'd give away leftover food to poor kids. Um, I'm afraid I don't have any more for you, little one, but here, I got this chocolate for you. Suddenly, Granny turned to me and hugged me. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. I always want you to be like your name, Rose. Kind and soft, but when needed, I want you to be fierce and strong, okay? Yes, Granny, I'll always remember that. Time went by, and when I was in the eighth grade, I came home one day to find Granny all sick and lying in bed. I immediately ran to the hospital and got some medicine. But on my way back home, I saw a man trying to snatch a purse from a lady in an alleyway. I quickly ran over and kicked him hard. I tried to stop him as he escaped, but suddenly the lady held me back by my hand. Lily, what are you doing here? Lily, what? Who? The thief, he is running away. But she kept staring at me like I was some kind of ghost. And then she started pulling my hand. Come with me. Ugh, she was crazy. I bit her hand and ran away. The next few days, I was busy looking after Granny, but her condition was getting worse and I was running out of money. One day, I heard a loud knock on the door, and when I opened it, I was shocked to see it was the same lady from the alleyway. She told me her name was Emma and she worked for a huge multinational company, but I didn't care. I was ready to kick her out, but then she whipped out her phone and showed me a picture of a girl who looked exactly like me. What the frying potatoes? Now that she had my attention, she convinced me to go with her to a hospital where she'd explain everything. There, I saw the girl lying in front of my eyes on the hospital bed, my perfect doppelganger. It was so freaky. This is our young miss, Lily. She's in a coma right now, but we need you to replace her. <laughs> what? You want me to go into a coma in her place? No, we want you to live as Lily in her place. Suddenly, a tall, handsome man came in and looked at me, stunned. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. You look just like Lily. Emma was right. He introduced himself as Mr. Wilson, Lily's dad, and then he asked me for the weirdest favor. Lily will soon turn 16 and inherit the multi-billion dollar company left by her late grandmother for her. But if the news about her being in a coma breaks out, it will go to the other shareholders and she'll be left with nothing. I just want you to live in her place until she wakes up. That's the only way I can make her future secure. Please help us. Whoa, this sounded like some really serious stuff and I didn't want to get involved. I won't be doing this, I'm sorry. I was about to walk out when Mr. Wilson offered me a deal I couldn't refuse. I know your grandma is sick and if you help us, I'll make sure she gets the best medical treatment. And of course I said yes, but I had no idea what trouble I was getting myself into. I had to memorize the names and details of all the people in Lily's life before I set foot into her shoes. And God, this girl had the most uncomfortable shoes. I could hardly walk in them. Remember, no one knows about this except for you, me, and Mr. Wilson. So don't tell anyone, okay? Got it. As soon as I entered the house, I saw a gorgeous woman who looked like someone from a magazine cover. It was Lily's stepmom. Freaking pumpkins, you're so pretty. Lily? What? Oh my god, you're awake? That's wonderful news. Wait, what did you just say? She looked at me a bit suspiciously, but thankfully Emma came in and rushed me away to my room. The first night I couldn't sleep and I snuck off to the garden. Just as I was lying there, I heard a voice. Miss, you shouldn't be lying on the grass. You might catch a cold. But I want to. Suddenly he took off his shirt and put it beneath me. Here you go. OMG, he was so cute. But then he just started walking away. Oh wait, wait, where are you going? I, I can't be here with you. But I just pulled his hand and made him sit next to me. And he looked super shocked. He didn't speak a word. But then I inched closer to him and put an arm through his. I won't eat you, you know. Finally, he started speaking and we talked for a while. He told me his name was Liam and he ran errands around the house. And gosh, he had the most 
gorgeous blue eyes. Before leaving, I gently kissed his cheek, and he blushed so hard. The next morning, Emma came and informed me that we had to attend a big conference at the company. She told me no one would even notice me, but they made me sit on the biggest chair in the room, and everyone was looking at me with melon-sized eyes, fishes. They started discussing things about the new product that wasn't doing well, and I didn't know what to do. So I picked up a drink in front of me and started slurping it, and it was disgusting. What do you think is the reason for these low sales? Yuck, ugh, this tastes like toilet water. Why would anything like this sell? Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. All the people turned to me like I'd cursed them. Go on, tell us what you think, Lily. Um, I'm sure you've seen people gathering around stalls on the streets, but it's not just because the food is cheap, it's because it tastes good. But if we will give them lemon mixed water, who'd buy it for $20? At first, they looked at me in shock, but then they all nodded, including Mr. Wilson. I thought he was gonna be super mad at me, so on our way back home, I apologized to him for speaking out. Oh, don't be sorry, Rose. I was really impressed you spoke the truth in front of everyone. <laughs> Thank God, that made me take a sigh of relief. When I got home, I was exhausted and fell asleep as soon as I got to my bed. But sometime later, I woke up to see Liam there, taking off my shoes. Aw, he was such a darling. Liam, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I know you must be tired. I was just trying to. I couldn't resist and pulled him in for a kiss. Whoa, what was that? I think, I think I like you, Liam. But Lily, you're so rich and I'm just a... For a moment, I wanted to tell him who I really was, but I was afraid he might hate me after that. I don't care about anything, Liam. I just want you to know that I like you. I like you too, Lily. The next day, it was Lily's birthday, and there was a huge celebration in the evening, and I was freaking out because I knew no one. Suddenly, a weird-looking guy came to me and asked me for a dance. Come on, enough of being mad at me, princess. Let's hit the dance floor. Um, no thanks. I'm good. Come on, baby. I'm still your boyfriend. And I'm sorry I kissed someone else. But she kissed me first, okay? Sue me. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, how about we just uh, forget about it? Ew! He was such a creep! Just then, he kissed me on my cheek. And Jesus, Liam saw him doing that, and he looked pissed. I pushed the jerk away and ran after Liam, but this Romeo guy pulled me back by my hand. Uh, let go of me, you moron. I slapped him hard in the face, but just then Lily's stepmom came to me and went all bonkers. Lily, what the heck are you doing? Why are you creating such a scene in front of everyone we know and running after that servant boy? But I, I saw you with Liam the other night as well, but I didn't say anything. Don't get any stupid ideas, Lily, and get back to the party now. Ugh, I really didn't like this woman. Later at night, I decided to sneak out and go see Liam, but just as I was climbing down the windows, I heard Lily's stepmom talking over a phone. I told you to get rid of Lily, and she's still here, roaming around. Don't you get it? I become a major stakeholder once she's gone, and then I'll have all the money and the company to myself, you idiot. OMG, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I tried to take my phone out and record it, but I lost my balance and fell in the bushes. But now that I knew what an evil witch she was, I had to unmask her at all costs. The next day, there was a big event where everyone was gathered to sign over the company documents, and I was gonna be a freaking billionaire for a while. But just then, something bizarre happened. Stop this nonsense right now. This girl's a fraud. She's not Lily. I am. Holy moly. Lily was standing right in front of my eyes, all fine and well. Oh, Lily, it's not what you think. Suddenly, she slapped me hard on the face. You fraud! You thought you could take over my life and my place just like that? Just then, Mr. Wilson stepped in. No, Lily, it's not her fault. Oh God, I can't believe you're awake, honey. Now calm down and let me tell you everything. Mr. Wilson and Emma took Lily away to another room and her stepmom glared at me. Oh, so you're some con artist, huh? I just didn't have a good feeling about you. Oh, and what about you, trying to get rid of Lily to get all the money for yourself, you old cow? 
She looked at me, super shocked, and then she started screaming furiously. Security! Throw this girl out, now, or I'm gonna have to call the police. Suddenly, the security guards came running in and threw me out of the house. No, no, let me go, Mr. Wilson, Emma! But they didn't hear me, and I was kicked out. I wasn't a fraud, I didn't do anything wrong. This was insane. I was just about to go back home to Granny when I remembered how she taught me to be strong and fight for what's right. So I sneaked in through the back door and went straight to where everyone was gathered. Oh, I forgot to give you a little parting gift, Mommy. What's this? Oh, don't you remember? The day you were talking on the phone with your secret friend about Lily? I recorded your conversation about how you wanted to get rid of her. Of course, I didn't record anything, but she totally bought my lie. I'm gonna kill you, you filthy rat! She pounced at me, but thankfully, Mr. Wilson stopped her. Enough! I can't believe you'd do that. I loved you so much and gave you everything, and you hurt my kid? How could you be so evil? What for? For the money! What else? Why else would I marry you with your stupid kid? I want all the money for myself, and what's wrong with that, huh? You know what? I'm gonna kill her right now! She ran towards Lily with a vase in her hand, and that's when I jumped in to take her down. Just then, Liam came running in to help me! Mr. Wilson immediately called the cops and had that evil woman taken away. After all the chaos, Lily came to me. I'm so sorry for hitting you earlier, Rose. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And please forgive me, okay? It's fine, Lily. You don't have to. No, I really owe you everything, Rose. I will make sure you are rewarded very generously. And if there's anything you ever want, you only have to ask, and I'll make sure your granny gets the best care. This was amazing! But there was still one person I had to talk to, Liam. He was standing in a corner in complete shock, and I took his hand and led him outside. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you who I really was, but I never lied to you about my feelings, Liam. I thought he was gonna be mad, but he winked at me and said, I 